two most prevalent cyber crimes today that are being perpetrated by criminals are what FBI calls business email compromise and cyber extortion. Business email compromise has usually three type of dimensions, but the ultimate effect is that threat actors are after your money. The main goal is to get to your bank account or somehow get connected as a vendor to the account and wire money out that you will never see again. So it's truly just a simple level of sophistication, get money from your bank account to their bank account. So sometimes a malware, a piece of code is involved. So the business email compromise can happen basically just spoofing your domain, kind of like using different characters and creation of the emails, or it has a phishing link and someone actually clicks on the link and supply the credentials to the threat actor to let's say real Office 365 or real business platform, or there's a piece of code called malware. So there's usually like a three dimensions that a threat actor are using for the business model compromise. The last one that involves the malware is very similar to ransomware because it involves actually computer code. So often the criminals who steal the money have also friends and tell them, look, I was very successful to take some money. Why don't you just take them for a ride and pay me some a nice dinner of a 10% from proceedings when you encrypt them. Our Cyber911 deals with all the victims, but those are the practices where we actually can advise and review cyber maturity level of the client and see what kind of measures they can put in a place. Keep in mind that the business model compromise comes in two dimensions, technical and a process. So if technology can stop it, process can. And here's a very good example that having good processes around approval, chain, systems interconnected actually can stop the uh, business email compromise. The important part of the business email compromise is think this way. You are our target. It applies to individual, it applies to the business. Anyone who has $500 on a bank account is a target. Don't get foolish. Everyone has money to lose and, and criminals have money to gain. So this applies to a small pizza shop the same way it applies to a big bank.